Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Mac haul. I've been really excited to share with you some of the things that I picked up from newer collections. I did pick up some permanent things, but I wasn't sure whether I should show it in this video. Repurchased a bunch of my basics like Pro Longwear Concealer and a few other things. If you watched my top Mac favorites video that was up before this, then you would have seen some of the things I was running out on. So I basically just repurchased those things that I was talking about. So if you haven't seen my favorite Mac products of all time videos, gotta check those two out. I did one for face and then one for eyes, lips, and brushes. So definitely go and check those out if you haven't watched them already. But if you want to see a little Mac haul, well, kind of little, Nah, it's not really little. I did pick up a lot from the collections. But if you're interested in seeing the things I picked up from the new collections for MAC, then just keep watching. Both these collections I had zero intention of purchasing anything from, but I ended up going ahead and purchasing some because I saw people picking up the Dazzle shadows and I ended up wanting them after seeing people use them. And then the Gian Battista Volley lipsticks came out and I just thought they were so unique that I had to pick them up. But I'm going to start off with these shadows first in no particular order. I'm not sure how many came out in the collection, maybe 12. I'll uh, check that out for you guys, but I did pick up nine. So I picked up nine of the shades, which is quite a bit. I almost picked up all of them, but some of them I just felt like I didn't need. Some were kind of similar and some were just like meh. After using and swatching some of these shades, I noticed that some have better consistencies than others. I will kind of put that on the screen if I noticed a difference in some of the consistencies of the eyeshadows. Some swatch a lot better, some go on a lot better. I find some last a little bit longer and some have more fallout than others. So as I said, I wasn't planning on picking up any of these, but they just seem really different from anything MAC has come out with lately, like those lipsticks. So. I figured I might as well. First shade I picked up is Slow Fast Slow and it looks like this. So these are the new Dazzle shadows and this is described as a bronze with red sparkles. A lot of these shadows are sold out online already so you'll have to check your local MAC counter. Uh, but this one I don't believe is sold out yet. It's called Feel the Fever and it's a deep blue purple with pink sparkles. I thought this was really pretty. There was another one that was kind of similar to this, but I decided to go with this one instead because I didn't feel like I needed both and this one appealed to me a little bit more. But that is what that looks like. It's really pretty. And then I picked up Boom Boom Room. This one I heard a lot of hype about and it's really, really gorgeous. I don't really have any, I don't have anything quite like this if it will come out <laughs> of the box. So this is Boom Boom Room. It is described as a light burgundy with emerald sparkles. Extremely unique. And this swatches absolutely beautifully. Then I have She Sparkles, which is a light gray with silver sparkle. And this is what that looks like. Then I picked up Last Dance, which was one of those ones that is totally a Cheryl color that I thought I would get a lot of use out of. This one I don't think swatches as well as other ones. It's a little bit more chunky. And this is Last Dance, as I said, and it's described as a peach beige with pink sparkles. The next one is Say It Isn't So. This one I wasn't too sure I was gonna pick up, but I'm glad I did. It is described as a dark gray with pink sparkles. This one probably is my favorite out of the bunch. It's called Let's Roll, and it is described as a red bronze with high sparkles, whatever that means. A lot of sparkles, I guess. <laughs> but it looks like this. Depending on the angle you look at this one, it's just crazy. It's like a fuchsia pink red sparkle mix. I don't know, this is this one would have to be my favorite and it swatches really, really nice. So glad I was able to pick that one up. Uh, it was restocked on the MAC website so I was able to snag it, but it was sold out when I initially looked. The next one is called Try Me On and I bought this solely because Jaclyn Hill wore it in the video and it is a deep blue green with sparkles. Really unique. I don't have colors like this, so definitely something that I will be using this summer. And just really pretty. Had to get it because she said it was good. <laughs> and then I like to watch. I wasn't sure about this color, but it was. it is really unique. I don't know how much I would really wear it. Even though it is fairly neutral, it just pulls kind of, I don't know, a limey green. It's described as a mid-tone brown with gold sparkles, but just the way it swatches almost pulls like a green. 
Nevertheless, super pretty. Glad I was able to snag all the ones I did. Uh, there's some, as I said, that are still available on the MAC Cosmetics website. The rest you probably have to go in store and see if your local counter carries them. But those were the ones that I decided that I wanted to purchase. And now for the Giambattista Valley lipsticks. These are extremely unique. MAC finally did something right with their packaging. I feel like their collections kind of lack in the past couple years. I'm not sure what it is. I just haven't been collecting so much MAC. Uh, but these are really, really pretty. They sold out so fast and I absolutely hate, I detest the new MAC website. It's so hard to navigate and it just constantly freezes when there's a launch. Like I couldn't get on for a good, how many hours was it? It released at 9 a.m. and I didn't get on until 2.30 and the US one had already sold out. The Canadian one still had some available so I was able to pick up all five of them. So the first one is Bianca B which I think was the most popular and this one was the one I was least attracted to but I'm pretty sure everyone wanted this particular lipstick so I just picked it up anyways. This I would never ever wear on its own because <laughs> as things go flying. It's almost a white lipstick. It's a milky pink but it is the lightest color of lipstick that I own. It looks like this. The way I would wear something like this is definitely with a darker lip pencil. I would use something nude or pink. I think Soar from MAC would look really pretty with this. Or you would use something like this in the center of another pink lipstick just to give it that ombre lip effect. So that's what I plan on using this for. And I haven't even swatched these yet. I was waiting to film this video so I've been dying to swatch these. I'm going to try and put these on my lips as well just to kind of show you what I would pair them with but that is how light Bianca B is. Really pretty nonetheless. I think this would look really amazing on fair skin girls or if you kind of pair it the way I was suggesting. Then we have Margarita which if you know me clearly was the one I wanted to get and it is the orangey lipstick. All these new packagings have random little things that keep flying out so I'm constantly like I almost got that in my drink. I don't know if you heard that hit the glass. I don't know what it is, but these colors are just my thing. I love colors like this. And just mixing these kind of things with other lipsticks as well. So this one I was most excited for. This feels like a very creamy matte. So I really like the formula of this. Beautiful shade. And then I have Tots or Tats. And it is the pink lipstick, Fuchsia Pinky pinkish red. Love colors like this. Really pretty. All these look so amazing on camera. Like these are like, these are made for film. These kind of lipsticks. They look really good in person too. But that is that pink shade. Gorgeous. I was seeing swatches of these lipsticks online and some of them looked really patchy. But upon swatching them myself, I feel like they're a lot better than the swatches online. And then I picked up Charlotte, which is the red shade. This is what Charlotte looks like. Just a really pretty red. True red, I guess. And that's what that looks like. I wasn't going to get this one just because I have enough red shades, but the packaging of these are just to die for. The colors match the outside, so... Uh, this is like one of the best packagings MAC has done in a very long time. And then the next one is Eugenie. And it is a really dark crimson color. So gorgeous. This I can't wait to wear for fall. You guys know I love colors like this. And that's what that looks like. These colors are just so gorgeous. Really up my alley. And then the last thing I picked up is a couple of the Fix Pluses from the new limited edition scent collection for the Fix Plus. I'm still waiting on the rose scented one. It should be here on Monday, but the one that I have on me right now is the cucumber scented. I did smell them all and the cucumber was my absolute favorite. It smells like spa water. I love the smell of cucumber. You guys know that. I love the smell of cucumber scented things. I just think it's so fresh and just really appeals to me. So I got the cucumber one, the rose one, which is on its way. And that is everything for the collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you decided to pick up from those three collections that launched. And let me know in the comment section below what were your favorites. And I will see you guys in my next video.